Another type of group comparison design and experimental design is what's called an experimental or true experimental design. Experimental designs are considered the gold standard in research practices. They're considered the most rigorous uh, form of experimental design because they control for most threats to internal validity. Uh, but what's unfortunate about these is oftentimes they are difficult and expensive to carry out. So that oftentimes we use quasi experimental design instead of a um, true experimental design. The purpose of a true experimental design is to examine the cause and effect relationship between variables in the most rigorous manner possible to determine the effectiveness of an intervention or a treatment. Now, experimental design, like pre experimental design and quasi experimental design, are characterized by manipulation. Just like a quasi experimental design, there's a control within or between group control. But the other characteristic that distinguishes a experimental or true experimental design is what's called randomization. Some researchers and texts will say you need to randomly select from a population. Others say you just need to have what's called uh, random assignment, which involves the assignment of group participants um, on a random basis to your different groups, so to your treatment group and to your comparison or control group, so that everyone with, uh, within your sample population has equal chance of being assigned to either the control group or the treatment group. And a simple way to think about random assignment is I, let's say, um, that I want to study, the researcher or scholar wants to study again, the go, You Go Girl STEM group, and there are 100 girls at the school. Maybe the researcher puts all 100 girls' names in a hat, and she pulls one name out of the hat, and then the next, and so they, um, the first name she pulls out goes to the treatment group. The second name she pulls out goes to the, um, goes to the control group. So that's, that's the idea of randomization you'll see that an example question is very similar to the quasi-experimental design question. Uh, it's to what extent, if at all, does participation in the You Go Girl STEM program affect high school girls STEM GPA? Now, authors like Campbell and Stanley say that you, if you randomly assign, you can assume group equivalence. So you don't need to have a control variable like we did in the quasi-experimental design question. Gogol and Borg and some other researchers say, no, it's better to have that pretest. Um, so there's some, there's some differences. But so, so some examples of experimental designs include a post-test only design, which is what would be used with this question. Um, there's something called a pretest post-test equivalent group design. So we can assume equivalence. Um, if you notice that's very close to the example design I named in the quasi-experimental uh, design video where I called it pre-test, pre post-test, non-equivalent. This is pre-test, post-test, equivalent control group design. There's also something called a Solomon 4. So that's the experimental design. 